Welcome to Dynamic Foundry Group. Today we are going to see a small video on understanding the fixed cost and ways to optimize it. What is fixed cost? Fixed cost is also called as ORS. Fixed cost is the cost which is fixed and due even if production is not going. These expenses are such that which are mandatory and hence cannot be 100% eliminated. This fixed cost contains some costs which are not directly related to the production activities and management has to bear these expenses irrespective of production volumes. Fixed costs contain bank EMI, bank interest, CC interest, depreciation, Hundi or bank charges, discount charges, administration cost, AMC of variable services, AMC of variable equipments, calibration charges, inspection cost or inspection charges, third party inspection charges, stationary, staff salary, maintenance cost, traveling cost, office expenses, discount given to the customer, marketing expenses like advertisement, guest expenses, training cost, system expenses for ISO or IATF audit, etc., safety appliance expenses, legal expenses, employee welfare expenses, sundry expenses. Here one has to take a review of these costs periodically and understand their overheads or fixed costs which, which can add to variable costs while are calculating the total casting price. So variable cost plus fixed cost will give you cost, total casting price. So from that we have to understand which is your fixed cost, what are your fixed costs and to understand that fixed cost we have to see all those points which we have already seen in previous slides. This can be done once in a quarter or six monthly. Do not take these details only for one month, but take the data for whole one year to calculate fixed cost per kg. After you get the total average per month for these fixed costs, we are considering here as 15 lakhs rupees is your average monthly fixed cost. So 15 lakhs rupees per month of uh, your fixed cost is there. And you need to now get fixed cost or ORS per kg of net sale. So you have to calculate per kg of uh, good casting fixed cost with respect to net sale. So we have to gather the data for net sale. Here we can assuming that your average net sale from last 12 months data is 300 ton of good casting. So 15 lakhs divided by 300 tons of good casting which is net sale for average net sale for last 12 months and 15 lakhs rupees is your average fixed cost for last 12 months so by uh, dividing so 15 lakhs divided by 300 tons you will get rupees 5 per kg of good casting is your overheads or fixed cost so this is how we can calculate the overhead or fixed cost here one has to understand the importance of both production capacity utilization as well as rejection percentage as overheads are calculated or net sale Rejection percentage is directly con contributing to your overhead of fixed cost. Also, inventory plays an important role here as it is calculated on net sale. Maintenance cost is also important to understand. That is, your breakdown percentage has to be reduced if it will directly affect the fixed cost because it will affect your productivity, it will affect your production capacity utilization, and if it is less, then your fixed cost will go on increasing. So reducing breakdown, reducing uh, inventory, reducing rejection will help you in improving the, uh, we can say, your productivity, your uh, net sale and it will help you in reducing your fixed cost. One has to understand this overhead of fixed cost mainly depending on production per month, that is productivity, capacity utilization, percentage of rejection, interest rate of bank also it is very important inventory of raw material inventory of wip and inventory of finished goods so here following ratios are important to monitor to control your fixed costs or overheads one is sales to inventory ratio purchase to sales ratio sales to maintenance ratio inventory turn ratio production to sales ratio so these are the important ratios which you need to monitor every month so that you can understand where you are going and how to reduce your fixed cost, where are the chances, where are the opportunities for you to reduce your fixed cost or overheads. 
These ratios are different for each foundries based on their process, layout, infrastructure, product mix, setup, and various other things. So it is not, uh, we cannot uh, say that it is a standard. Uh, one foundry has this much ratio, so other foundry must have that ratio. So it may differ from foundry to foundry. You have to set your own benchmarking for these ratios and monitor them periodically. Take actions to optimize them or to improve them and thus help to reduce your fixed cost or overhead cost per kg of good casting. So to reduce this overhead cost or fixed cost, one has to improve inventory turn ratio, less rejection, less breakdown or and more productivity. Sorting of fixed cost contain in ABC manner or ABC analysis also help you in reducing your fixed cost by eliminating the top expenses from your ABC analysis. So you can focus on the top uh, expenses from your ABC analysis and try to reduce them to, you, to reduce your overhead or fixed cost. Reducing traveling or guest expenses, office expenses, NCM control, reduction in re reduction in uh, rework, minimizing sundry expenses and wastages will help you in controlling your fixed cost. So one has to take, one has to make sure improving this parameter to reduce fixed cost as well. So these are the various, various factors you need to control, you need to understand and then you have to control those parameters or factors or ratios or vestiges so that you can improve your productivity, improve your rejections uh, and then you can reduce your overhead or fixed cost. Fast recovery of payments, on time payments from the customer helping you in improving cash flow and thus reduces additional burden on financial costs. So it is very important to have re uh, proper recovery of payments, on time delivery or uh, sorry on time payments from the customer which will help you in reducing additional burden on your financial cost. On time delivery less NCM helps you in speed up the supplies and thus reduces your inventory cost and also helps you in maintaining your cash flow which will reduce your burden again from your financial cost. Similarly, less breakdown will help you in improving the capacity utilization and help thus reduces inventory cost. So this is about the invent uh, this is about the fixed cost and overheads from my side. Thank you very much. I hope understand how to calculate them, how you can improve them, what are the areas where you can focus to improve your overheads, to reduce your overheads rather and improve your uh, profitability, improve your costing uh, efficiency, Co you can able to compete in the market if you can reduce your overheads and fixed costs. So thank you very much. You hope you understand it and you will implement it in your organization. So thank you. Thank you very much.